today's hymn in uh, Dolan's Cave Music is uh, a long hymn. Uh, it's one of the hymns, one of my favourite hymns from uh, this volume, volume two of hymns of Tyr Stegen and others. And it's um, one that was uh, in the Moravian hymn book, uh, written by one of the, the Moravian brothers or sisters who had such a tremendous influence on uh, John Wesley and the Methodist movement. And uh, in fact, it was through the influence of the Moravians that John Wesley came to faith. And uh, like yesterday's song by Ter Stegen, this is one that focuses on uh, our destination in heaven. It's about the Bride of Christ and the New Jerusalem and of that great day when uh, one of the verses says, With eyes undimmed, uh, Christ's bride will behold her God, behold him face to face and not by sight. Um, and walk by sight and a uh, beautiful line here he will lead his bride his joy and care with blissful singing to his father's throne and god is all in all in that great day and he is their exceeding great reward and along with the the joy of beholding him face to face there is the joy of uh, eternal communion with all the saints and then shall be the blessed communion of God's dear children meeting from afar. Within his burning love, they blend as one. Some really beautiful words and lines in this. And uh, because it's so long, I need to keep the introduction fairly brief. But there's a, a longing in the very last verse that reflects, of course, uh, Paul uh, in his uh appeal for the Lord Jesus to come quickly and also the book of Revelation. Now come quickly Jesus from above. And uh, as I reflect on hymns like this and yesterday's one, it reminds me of uh, Paul saying when he was encouraging the Philippians to follow his example, he said, this one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind, I strain forward uh, for what is ahead to win the prize. Um, for which Christ has called me heavenward. And of course that prize is the prize of being with him to behold his glory. And Paul, who was steeped in the Psalms, of course, was probably inspired by David's words in his wonderful Psalm that said, uh, One thing have I asked of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life by which he means eternally, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. And uh, one of the great things about so many of these hymns is that they really inspire us, train us and prune us uh, in many ways down to that one thing. What is the one thing that our lives are about and for? What's the one thing we're straining after? And these hymns tell us that it's to be with him where he is, to behold his glory. In faith we sing this song of thankfulness for that deep comfort Christ's beloved shared. The blessed home of everlasting peace, the home in God's high glory, bright and fair. Up while we wander in the wilderness, but that eternal home awaits us there. Fair and holy, 
shall his church descend, lit up with light of precious jasper stone. And he shall give her honor in that day, for unto him all power and might are given. In soul and body free from mercy, semblance purified and shrived. Shall she put on her beautiful array of new eternal life he brought from heaven? And heaven and earth and all created things in wondrous beauty then shall be restored and we shall rest from all our wanderings partakers of the nature of our Lord and made to God our Father priests and kings in light where to the angels never soared. And he shall make his church all heavenly fair, with gold and pearls and every radiant stone. And reign in holiness and glory, suns and stars have never shone. And he shall lead his bride, his joy and care, with blissful singing to his Father's throne. With eyes undimmed shall she her God and walk by side, not trusting only as in days of old, but seeing with her eyes eternal light. The great salvation mystery shall unfold in that high vision of love infinite. And then the saints shall rest in victory, their weary battle day is at an end. Amidst the holy angels joy shall be, that we and they can love as friend and friend. We weep no more, for one with Christ are we, in oneness love alone may comprehend. And then shall be the blessed communion, Dear children, meeting from afar. Within his burning love they blend as one, yet each according as his counsels are. Shall have peculiar glory of his own. As one star differeth from another star. And God is all in all in that great day, and He is their exceeding great reward. Their stream of life 
joy their radiance Christ the Lord the music of their wondrous song shall say how great the joy that passes thought the word and this is the eternal life of heaven laid up with Christ in God the mystery of resurrection life which he has given a fount of living waters full and free a life by which the gates of death are ridden, a life on which the throne of Christ shall be. And here in this waste wilderness begun, so soon as we believe in Christ, Receive him as our only life and light. As branches in the vine alone are one, so we are one forever in his sight. Now come thou quickly, Jesus, from desert road, and draw us after thee by might of love, our fatherland art thou, O love.